We convinced Robert to step off the farm and come join us for hot dogs. Actually, it didn't take much convincing because he was starving. It's not what you would call a pretty day. It had been raining a lot. But the rain has held up just long enough for us to come. Yeah. I love this sort of thing. Old gas station turn hot dog joint. I love it. How's the farm? Wet. Wait, wait. Very wet. So uh, now you're not scared by all the city, are you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yes. It's um, all these tall buildings. It's Columbus, Georgia, where we're at right now, which has some beautiful, beautiful hidden gems. Uh, but we do amazing here and <laughs> have an extremely high homicide rate for the size of the town. So yeah, I am a little scared. <laughs> He ain't lying. Do you want to shoot while you order? Yeah. Walter joined us because footlongs. I have never had one of these and I'm really looking for it. I get a footlong with chili, mustard, and chocolate. This hot dog stand is located on a major thoroughfare through town, so please excuse the loud. What did you order? Uh, footlong. Uh, with chili, mustard, and chopped onions. Those, Best kind. Those vile onions. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Walter has a long-standing hate affair with onions. A hot dog without mustard and onions is not a hot dog. I don't share that sentiment. Then it was Robert's turn. But Robert was more interested in the catfish across the street, fried up golden and delicious. But he relented and ordered a scrambled dog. Hey, how did you a scrambled dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just uh, barbecue. Come World Famous Hot Dogs is in fact in an old gas station. And a flower bed now takes up residence where the pumps used to sit. Its location is gritty, and I like that. It had been raining hard, so I was glad there was a shelter. Robert comes over to sit down, exhausted from farm work, and covered in wisteria dust. Yeah. You got a scramble dog. I did. But apparently he forgot something. Mustard. The essential. So Columbus is actually the uh, home of the scrambled dog. Yeah. It started at Dinglewood Pharmacy. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so definitely a hometown food, which surprises me. I would think the scrambled dogs would be everywhere. Maybe they are now. It's a hometown here. I heard years ago that scrambled dogs actually originated in Casita. Yeah. I busy myself trying to find the right angle. Robert digs in. He and Walter have both eaten here several times before, but this is my first time. The tea actually looks pretty good. I'm picky about tea. I'm finally seated and ready to do this thing. So let's see what this looks like. I'm loving the wrapper. Oh yeah. Yeah, it would be alright if it didn't have the onions on it. Mmm, delicious crunchy onions. This is going to be good eating everybody. <laughs> Walter doesn't know what he's missing.
And it's as good as I'd hoped. Oh yeah. I love these hot dogs. Yeah. Yeah. These are good. I like these better than Dinglewood. Yeah. Robbie got a scramble bar. No, I had your scramble dog. Mm. Yeah, he got a scramble dog. You got a chili dog. It's good. Yeah, scram uh, chili dog is what I like. What did you get? Chili dog. Now, what's the difference between a chili dog and a scramble dog? Does that have oyster crackers on it? Yeah, yours has oyster crackers. That's the difference. And it's chopped up. Well, at Dinglewood, they chop it up. Mm. Here, Robbie, take a big bite. He's got, <laughs> he's got pickles on it too. Mine would also have pickles if I had remembered to ask for them. Mm. Now, how long has this place been in business? A long time, I don't know. Like 40 years? I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I thank the Lord for this food and this time together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in Jesus' name. That is delicious. And I'm not just saying that for the camera. It really is delicious. It <laughs> is. I don't eat a lot of chili dogs or hot dogs, so when I do, I like to get a good one. Mm. And this is a good one. There might be another one of these in my future. Yeah, always get two. In fact, I have consistently wanted another one of these throughout the editing process. It seems like one of you guys had told me how long this place has been open. It's like an institution in, in this town. Mm -hmm. I think it used to be down the hill from Channel 3. Really? And relocated here. Because there was a hot dog place at the bottom of the hill, and I believe it was one of famous hot dogs, yeah. Okay. I remember there was a gas station down there, a service station. That was a good hot dog. Still starving? Yeah. Want another <laughs> one? Maybe. No, he wants Rose Hill. What? You want Rose Hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody. Robert wanted to eat here. I'd like the places to go. Great. <laughs> I ain't coming this close to Roseville and not getting fried catfish. <laughs> what well, can I say? Robert really wanted that catfish. Catfishy goodness. We'll see you down the road.